laddies, and welcome back. I'm the gaming beaver. Not really. I'm just as happy as And oh, 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 I forgot. We had the um the evil booster pack to win. So. If, uh, if any of you guys watched my last video, I said I was going to win the legendary Evo booster pack instead of the Gorgosaurus, Gorgos sorry, Gorgosaurus pack, because I thought the prize would be better. In this one, you're guaranteed books, guaranteed DNA, or at least one of those, as well as guaranteed two legendary dinosaurs, which are technically um, better. I think it depends. If you got two T-Rexes, you could sell them for more than you sell the Gorgosaur for. So, I would love DNA, I would love gun. Oh, 10,000 DNA, <laughs> awesome. And two Tsukamimus, uh, as well as all these points. Am I gonna win any of them? No, of course not, yay, thank you game. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be the case. Now, I think you win probably the same amount as, you actually, yeah, you do. But I don't, I didn't get any anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I would have won the same amount of VIP points in that pack as I would have won for the Gorgosaurus pack, which is the event creature pack. But I didn't win any of those because they're all glitched. So now I've got to, I've got to know where Sukamimus is and see how much I can sell one of those for. That's Irritator. Sukamimus, 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 Sukamimus. There he is. There he is. I'm gonna place for him. Great, great, great. Um. Tricer no, we can't. We can't get rid of Triceratops. We'll get rid of you. There we go. And he's at the back. And he's there. And he places. Okay, do we have one extra? We do. Okay, so if you sell... So, 1,320. So, I could sell two of them for 2,600. 2,600. Okay, let's see how much a Gorgosaur buys. 2,600. Damn it, I made a 400 <laughs> DNA loss. Because if I sold one Gorgas Sutures, it would cost 3,000. It cost 6,000 to buy, but 3,000 to sell. So I lost a little bit of DNA, but I got 10,000 DNA. Uh, and in the Gorgas Sutures pack, I wasn't guaranteed any DNA or any books. Because I could have won food and I could have won coin. So I think I made the better call there to go for that. But that's just me. Oh, even more DNA. Beautiful. Um, oh my god, we could sell up we could sell 40 Gallimimuses for 14 million. Sorry, 4 million. But uh, I'm kind of okay. What we're doing? Yeah, sorry, I haven't even How are you doing? You okay? Your family alright? Friends? Life? Work? Job? Good. It's, it's all good in it. Don't talk about them here. No, this is a happy place. <laughs> so we're gonna be winning the Elasmatherium and maxing it up and testing it out. Um But of course, first, we've got to win the bugger. So we're going to use Hernodus, and I'm pretty sure Hernodus could probably take on all of these, but just for safe measure, I'm going to put in Plotosaurus here. So this brings, I think, the total of Glacier Creatures down to three remaining. We've got the Sarcastodon, the Phosphorus, and the Indrocatherium, Indrocatherium, whatever you want to call it, uh, left to get. So, and then, I think that's it. I don't think there's any other creatures that we have. We haven't got Inosaurus, or Enosaurus, um... And there's another herbivore as well that we haven't gotten, but I think those are going to be, um, whatchamacallums. They're going to be, they're going to be, um, tournament creatures, that's the one <laughs> I can think of it. Uh, also, yeah, I forgot to put in, um, oh, what was it, the Dimetrodon uh, analysis, because I was, I was going to compare the new Dimetrodon against the old one and see if there was any change in the model. Because there, there seems to be some weird texture things going on with it. Um, I could be wrong. Oh, that was close, actually. We couldn't have killed him in two. Woo! We could have lost that easy. He he went for one block, one reserve. If he'd went for two blocks, we would have lost that. So 50 DNA, awesome. Okay, next one. Um, so basically, we want you and a uh, and, uh, you and a you. That should do it because they're probably going to switch out. In fact, if we got a stronger creature, maybe we could have killed Lyplorodon in one hit. You see, I knew that was going to happen, but that's okay. We've we've, we've I calculated for it. So he's got three. He can kill us in three if he goes for three, uh, which he doesn't. That's fine. We're going to go for two attack. Uh, at least we did some damage. We took him below two thousand. That might help, depending if we die, which it probably will. 
It'll probably go for five. Hey, it does go for five, of course it does. Who didn't see that coming? Yay! Death. Okay, well, we kill us in two. It has nothing, so we've won this. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I've been looking at gaming computers as well. Because, I like, one thing I don't have... Well, I do have a good computer. I do have a good gaming computer. Um, a little bit behind the scenes. Although, the monitor's crap, so it can't really refresh. I think you can get a really good refresh rate. And that's that usually um, affects what you see. Like, if, you, if it hasn't got a good refresh rate, then you could have an amazing, you know, you could display the best quality whatever, but it's gonna run at 10 frames a second. Um, and I think that's a problem I've got right now. But, the, the renderer I use is an iMac. And it's, I've had it for a while. It's not even mine actually, it's Whitney's, and she was gracious enough to let me use it. Because um, otherwise, uh, maybe this YouTube channel never would have existed. <laughs> but I think it's about time that um, I maybe I put this computer as possibly a um, a rendering computer because it's it's good, but it, you can get better things now. Um, I mean, with computers you can always switch out, switch in things. So. I mean, it's it's always going to be good. But I'm thinking I want a gaming computer and a rendering computer. So I can have one desk, computer either side. Three monitors, two monitors for the game and one monitor for the renderer, so I can record and render at the same time and just quickly switch between the two. Um, I th and I think that would allow me to play more games because I can get them up faster because they're rendering while I'm also recording something else. So if two games come out, then I can quickly be like, okay, let's record that, get that editing as soon as possible, then record another one. And um, because the way I, I render things, I render them. Probably the least efficient way possible. I render out gig files, like, and I don't mean like one gig. I mean like five to ten gig files, and they take ages to upload too. So um, I also I'll probably look into an Ethernet cable because I don't care what you have to say about um, uh, what do we call it? Um, wireless cable is still a thousand times quicker. If if you've got a router and you, like try plugging in through Ethernet cable to your computer. You'll find that your upload speed goes up a load. But I digress. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. That's that's what's going on in my life right now. Because we did we did that sort of last time. I was like, what's going on in my life? Well, let's talk about it. So I'm gonna go with you and you. Mm. Four. Four. What's he gonna do with four? Not attack me. Interesting. Um, we could switch into you, Moon, but I'm all right. We'll go for four attack, four block, uh, sorry, reserve, and we've killed him! Because uh, we needed three to kill him, and luckily, we got it. Uh, Dunkelostis comes in, has to go for like four to kill us. That goes for seven! Oh, okay. <gasps> we got to see it from the other perspective. Round it goes! Yum! Awesome. The camera does a bit of a weird thing there, where he goes off screen, it's like, oh, where do you go? Oh, there he is! Because <laughs> you, you can probably tell where the keyframes are, and they're just like, ah, just, you know, ease it in. You know, just, that'll do. Uh, one, two, and then, yeah, we pretty much won this. There's nothing they can do. God, these battles are so much easier than the ones in Rise of Berg. I feel like with those ones, I'm always on edge. But then, I guess that's because, we're, you know, we're, we're sort of end game here. We've got, like, the best creatures. Um, or at least, like, really, really, really good creatures. And a full-on eight! You're gonna get the tail slaps! You ready? Ooh, push! <laughs> and death ensues. Beautiful. And that's it! We got the Lasmatherium! That is another glacier creature down. Uh, 100 bucks, 500 DNA, some coin, and there it is, a Lasmatherium. It should be unlocked. For 520 VIP points. There you go. It's unlocked. Awesome. Now, this now is this is this going to be a glacier creature with more health and attack? For once, oh, it is. It can't kill itself in two hits. Would you believe? Um, so how much does it cost? Well, we can't tell. Let's just speed it up. Woo! I'm, I'm guessing that it's um it's not going to eat dodo. So this is one creature that's going to be quite nice to. Oh God! <laughs> the 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 mouth is a bit weird there. Uh, so, I, I kind of like just buying them all and then like 
feeding them all at once, so we'll wait. So two, it costs 2,000. It's exactly the same as Smilodon, except the Smilodon has just under 100 extra attack, but the Elasmotherium has over 200 extra health. They gather exactly the same amount of coin. I know it's that all the time. I never mention it, but it's like, I always look at the coin like, yep, they're the same. So, hmm, interesting. Except for this one is a savannah. And I forget what's better. What, sorry, what beats what? Savannah beats... That looks, that looks so weird. Oh, like, like that rhino would be able to go on two feet. Come on. It would break its pelvis. It'd snap. I'm sure, right? I'm gonna get some paleontologist or some sort of biologist on me like, nope, nope, they can do that. I mean, rhinos nowadays can't do that, can they? They can't put all their weight. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that um, I found out that Brachiosaurus couldn't get on its hind legs. So that's Jurassic Park ruin for me. Uh, but I, I mean, I'm just guessing here. We have rhinos these days and I, I've, I can't say I've ever seen any rhino, not in person, but on any documentary, TV show, whatever, do that. <laughs> Except for in Jurassic World, these are hybridized rhinos with extra ligament joints and strength. That they can, I, I don't know, I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, there we go. So five. Ooh, hello. Oh, you got a really weird face. I tell you what, your horn's a lot smaller than, um... Oh, 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 oh. Is your back wiggling? What's going on with the jiggle weights? He's got like alien and- oh, he stopped now. He stopped. Hold on. Wait, wait for the jiggles to happen again. Oh, there's an idle animation. Wait for it. There it is! He's got like twitches! I'm guessing that's supposed to like be fur on maybe the level 40 model. <laughs> He's got like a baby inside. <laughs> right, okay, two more. Oh no, that was five, wasn't it? So we need three more. <sighs> so, how, like, DNA-wise, it cost me, I gotta buy seven more. Two times seven is 14, so it's 14,000. Again, and not too much of a hurt on the DNA, as I did just win 10,000 DNA on the Blumen, um Evo booster pack, which I bet I wouldn't have won that from the Gorgasuchus pack. And just watch, Ludia, don't change it. It's really good, okay? I chose not to go for the tournament creature, I can see it. I can see it. You're like, ooh, Gamer Beaver kind of won a bit too much, um, too much DNA from that, didn't he? How about we put books in, um, sorry, not books, coin. How about we just put coin in the packs now? Don't do it! I know what you like, goddammit. Okay, let's see the first, first uh, eating. Oh, it doesn't need a dodo. I'm disappointed. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that was nice. I, w I wasn't, go I wasn't even... I mean, it'd be awesome if he did chase down a dodo and eat it, and then it could be like some sort of weird killer rhino. But that's quite nice. A cool camera angle. Like, they're doing a bit more things with the cameras and these new eating animations. I mean, with the original dinosaurs, the camera just sort of stayed in place and panned, then panned by it. But look at this one. Look at a swoosh. It's like a crane shot. Or a trolley. Or a dolly. Or whatever you call it. Polly. Once a cracker. <laughs> I've got something in my chest, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, this guy's got more of a health tank. Um, I, I never like saying health tank because I think that should be reserved for dinosaurs like a patasaur, where it takes about four or even five or six hits to kill itself. Whereas this one's... It, it's normal. It's um, It takes about three hits to kill itself. Um... I mean, you're, I mean, the glass cannons are things that can kill themselves in almost one hit. Too minimal. Um, I don't think I've ever seen... Oh, yeah, he's tiny as well. Not as small as uh, Smilodon, though. Um, I've seen dinosaurs that can kill themselves in almost one hit. I've never seen a dinosaur with more attack than it has health. That would be absolutely nuts. Demo sorry, Metrophodon is very close to it. Very close. There we go. We've got level 10, level 20. No, oh, it looks like he's been rolling around in mud. Calculating. Um, we're on 460,000 DNA, right? So we've lost about 10,000. That can't be right. Yeah. Yes? I mean, it's only 60 to speed up. If it was, it was 14,000 DNA. And I'm pretty sure it was on 460,000, right? 14,000 DNA, yeah, it should only, I should be lower. Or maybe I had extra DNA, I'm not too sure. I don't know, God, I'm not a mathematician. 
As you, my YouTube comments have quite uh, frequently pointed out that I got the uh, math wrong. <laughs> As some angry parents. Like, my kid came through in the kitchen and said 7 times 7 was 42. He's wrong. <laughs> Actually, is that right? 5, 6. No, no, it's 49, right? It's 49, right? I'm guessing. I've got that number in my head. I don't know, okay? <laughs> Uh, I said, I mean, originally I said it was like 42, I think, or 35, it was something stupid. I was like, 7 times 7 is 35, which is 5 times 7. Um, and then I think I, I, I was going to re-correct it in, um, in the comment, and then I got it wrong again. I was like, no, no, it's not 42, it's 49. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So, food-wise, I don't need to worry about it. Let's get to level 30. Again, all these glacier creatures are really small. I think they've done that to save data. I mean, that's just speculation. Ludia's never came out and said something. Not that they would ever need to either. It doesn't really affect... The only difference you see them being small is in these uh, incubation chamber things. Or e evolution chambers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you never... I mean, in-game, they don't look any different. Like, that doesn't look tiny. It looks fine. And there's a level 30. Ooh, brighter. I like it. So what's its happy animation? I didn't even click it. So it just does a little sniff. Okay. I mean, I wasn't really expecting too much. It's a rhino. It's not going to be the most of an energetic creature. So what's the... The annoyed? Of course. <laughs> the, the scraping of the foot. Yeah, this creature's not very mobile. He seems very... Uh, although, I think it is in, in the battle arena. I think it probably moves about like crazy. Um, I think it's run into the arenas quite crazy too. I could be wrong though. I feel like it is. Or is that Entelodon? Entelodon's very energetic and jumps a lot. Oh, come on then, let's get another level 30. Oh, beautiful! First time. Oh, look at the stars! Oh, I, I, I don't think I've noticed that before. That should be a shiny evolution. If you evolve a shiny rhino, it's like Pokemon. It does like the extra... Ding! It's a shiny! So he... Oh! Ooh, that's a long horn. Now, the one in Jurassic Park Builder had a really long horn. And he was like a pudding. He had like custard. He was custard colored. He was like yellow, goldish yellow and brown. Whereas this one is a reddish earth brown with uh, some uh, pale undertones. Oh, he's got ho Oh, he's got a chub chub now. Extra chub. Oh, God, a bit of a wiggle there. A bit of a unsteady on the feet. And there it is. Level 40. Whoa. Yeah, I like how this horns on its hump. <laughs> In case it misses you, you roll up it, you can get gouged again. So let's see its eating animation. Oh. I wonder if they played with the idea of giving like a huge horn. But uh, no, it's not overkill. I think it's quite quite nice. So we're gonna give it. Oh, should we level it up to 39 and that be it? Or should we. Ah, sod it. Should we oh, no. <gasps> Level 40, there you go. You happy? Are you happy? I know that pees some people up, but there you go. You, they, I'm, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I can walk away now. You've seen it maxed. Right. Okay, now let's fight it. Um, live arena. So it is... Ooh. Ooh. Well, let's put it last. I'm not going to put in the mammoth, because if I put in the mammoth, I'm going to be fighting really, really tough creatures. So, um... Oh, so it's good against cave. Well, right now there's only one cave, and that's Andrew Sarkis. Luigi. Mamma mia. Oh, come on, Entendon. You could, you've got this, son. You've got this. Easy, man. Easy. Yeah, he, he's going to die in, like, two hits. Is he going to die right off the bat? No, he's not. Okay, come on, Entendon. You can't do anything against any of these guys. I mean, nothing. Smilodon's the one that's going to win it because he's got the advantage against those savannas. Savannas. I, I can't say savannah. Sa sa what is it? Like, I feel like savannah... It's very, it sounds really posh, like banana. But sa savannah, how, sa like Americans say savannah. Oh, that, that's people from savannah say savannah. So how do you, how do normal English people say sa savannah? Savannah, there it is, savannah. Sa savannah, savannah, savannah. <laughs> oh, the different goes, okay. May as well attack for four, do some, oh God. What little damage we did. Got it below a thousand and he's gonna kill me now. Go for four if you are going to attack, dude. Come on, you big, smelly, hairy mammoth. Oh, one's good too. That's fine. I don't mind that. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with that. That's fine by me. So let's go for another four. He goes for another three block. Slow. We're going to do it. Slowly but surely. We're going to kill it. 
Come on, go for four. Don't go for one. Don't go for one. Don't. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Just put his foot down. <laughs> the end of Don flew. Right, come on, smile Don. You've killed it in two hits. That's great. Because it's got no block. And a swipe. Oh, that looks awesome. But, like, its pose there was quite low angle camera, which made the smile Don look even bigger and more imposing. So now we got the rhino, which really can't do anything against him. I mean, it could kill him if he went for a full on fall. But it only goes for one. Right. Should we go for four reserves and four attack? I think we should. I think that's good. Oh! One block. Oh, it's dead! <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought he was going to survive that. He went for so much block. I think we should switch in our, uh, our rhino. We're not even going to see it. Oh, it goes for three. Well, that's... I mean, it almost killed him, actually. If it went for a full-on four, we would have died. To so bring in the rhino! Da -da 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 -da. I'm here. I'm gonna go for seven. Hey! They call me horns for days. Oh, what? Oh, whoa. What was that? Oh, what the hell's going on with the floor? Ah! Oh! <laughs> kind of distracted from the charge, and there you have it. Oh, no! They gave it's like, it's win animation was it's coming out of the, like, in the hatching animation. Ah, I was expecting something, like, different. To, like, walk, like, go on his side and be like, meh. To the edge of mud bath and be like, hi, how you doing? No, come on, legendary pack, of course. Of course, don't get the legendary pack. Um, kind of want to see it's losing animation now. But he's just going to be on the floor, isn't he? Should we lose with him? Let's lose with them. Let's put in our lowest creatures. That one and that one and that one. We could win, actually. But uh, Sarcastodon's only level 9. Smilodon's level 1. And Elasmetherium is... is Yeah. Yeah. yeah these are actually harder. Like, we're, we're facing a maxed Elasmetherium. This is the same team as last time, except for... Yeah, we're definitely going to lose. By quite a bit. <laughs> but that's good. Because uh, I just wanted to see its death animation. No, the bear! Brings in the killer kitty, who's also going to die in one hit. How is this a fair team? I thought usually they average to what you've got. Uh, oh yeah, it goes for one again. <laughs> it knows. It just knows I'm going to die. Well, at least we got 200 attack. It is nerfed though. Um, should we go for six? Let's see what six is. What's six what does six look like? The six attack. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> oh, that was good. I like that. Okay, let's see it's four. Rhino versus Rhino. Four. Oh, it's a charge. Oh, and there it is. Toppled over. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it looks, oh, it looks so sorry for itself. It also looks like it's going to sleep. So there you go, guys. We, uh, we maxed up the, um... The Wooly Rhino. Oh, I can boss! And uh, <laughs> until next time. Well, I mean, well, actually, how many uh, creatures do we have left on the glacier? I think it's three. Yeah, yeah. Sarcastodon, Phosphorus, and Indracotherium. Uh, do we have an event for it? Oh, we completed it. Oh, kind of. Well, we didn't unlock it, but let's collect all of our DNA. There, one, two, three, and four. Did it count? Our DNA didn't- Oh, there it is! Beautiful. 140,000 again, so I think we've only lost about 10,000. Um, let me just collect all of the- How many- How much, uh, coin do you think we're gonna be on once we collect all- all of this? I'm gonna say... 90- 90 million? I'm gonna say 90 million. Okay, have you guessed what we're gonna be on? Go, go, go! Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> so close! Oh, right, okay, well, there you go. There you have it. Oh, damn it. Still, one more. No, no. <laughs> collect that. And collect that. And collect that. And collect all of those. Can we get up to 99? I don't think we can get up to 99. Uh, 95. That's over 10 million from just collecting. And I haven't even collected from these guys. And there's quite a few uh, coin that be c can be collected from those. So that is a total of 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 million? 13 million. I, 13 million I can collect in, from my park in a day. So if I have to spend 10 million coins on DNA or food, 
I can do that without hesitation. So trade harbor, I don't, I haven't really had any good trades. I've never had trade coin for Indominus Rex. Those were the glory days when the trade harbor first opened. But now if I ever get a good trade, it's always like 10 million coin for 2000 DNA or 10 million coin for 200 bucks or something. It's not much, but it's, I mean, I've got something to spend my coin on apart from entering battles because I don't really spend my coin on anything. So uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Good luck with getting the Elasma Theory. I'm sure you've already got it, actually, depending on when this episode's out. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.